So the bottom line is this. Real estate exists in nature and benefits for a reason, and it's not by chance. That's why it has this highly targeted, highly coordinated way of affecting gene expression associated with health. My name is Elvira de Mejia, I'm a professor in the Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition. We like to collaborate with universities, other uh, governmental agencies and um, industry. And we like to work on different aspects related to food and nutrition to improve human health. Professor de Mejia here has done a lot of work on lunacin and uh, uh, inflammation and you know that inflammation is the hub of all these chronic diseases. The research that's been done in Dr. Demilla's lab actually complements or validates some of those uh, hypotheses that, that the lunacin can turn on genes that are good for you. And our laboratory is pioneered in the work of lunacin, describing the concentrations in different genotypes of soybean, describing the conditions that will improve the synthesis of lunacin in this varieties of soy and we have also been pioneers in describing the mechanism of action related to the effect of lunacin against inflammation. And some of these uh, health benefits that we are getting with uh, the really products may be associated with the fact that uh, it contains the lunacin peptide and it has an effect on an inflammation. Lunacin is absorbed in the plasma of humans and it's very important to know that lunacin has decreased markers of inflammation as well as markers of oxidative stress. Why this is important? It's very important because inflammation is the central uh, pathway related to chronic diseases. So we know the mechanism of action and at this point we understand very well how lunacin as a very important peptide in soy can um, be uh, entering the cell and lowering markers of inflammation. So I think we can uh, really provide the scientific community with a way to look at nutrition differently, that it can actually sort of complement the drugs and medications that they prescribe to their patients, especially for uh, chronic diseases.